This is the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. After three years of development, months of testing, some of which was out in the UAE deserts, and numerous online renderings, it brings me great joy and pleasure to introduce you to the first ever SUV from Rolls-Royce, the Cullinan. A few quick facts about the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. It's named after the largest diamond ever discovered in the world. It does not steal the limelight from the Phantom, which remains the brand's flagship model. And the Cullinan is the brand's first ever all-wheel drive vehicle. In the Rolls-Royce Cullinan, you can close the door by a simple press of a button. And that's just the tip of the iceberg for how luxurious this cabin truly is. Leg space, even though there's no plans of an extended wheelbase version at this point in time, and quite frankly, there doesn't need to be, you can have this interior customized with either a bench seat layout like we have here for three people or two individual seats in the back. What you can also have is the starlit roof liner, which makes every Rolls Royce a Rolls Royce. Or you could have the optional panoramic roof like we have here. Another interesting fact about the cabin of the Cullinan is that it's the first SUV with a touch screen. Powering the Cullinan is a 6.75-litre twin-turbo V12 engine that makes 571 horsepower and 850 newton meters of torque. Paired to an 8-speed satellite-aided transmission, the Cullinan shares the four-wheel steering with the Phantom for added maneuverability. For those who wish to take it off-road, there's also a simple off-road button with three different settings for the traction control system to conquer any and all terrain. Although the Cullinan did receive some slack for its blockish design, the fact is that it carries the brand into a new dimension. A dimension that is likely to see increased sales, greater popularity and even more exclusivity. Is it what the Cayenne did for Porsche then? I think so.